My name is Sean Dougherty, and I'm a designer and fabricator of interior and exterior public works. I have uh, approximately 130 large-scale sculptures in the Denver metro area lining uh, South Broadway and Inglewood. And um, another major area would be Morrison Road, as well as the Santa Fe Arts District and Colfax. I also have uh, five Denver public schools. I'm the only artist they've ever let manipulate the front facade with flowers and happy affirmations for children to come and go. And that's me in a nutshell. Everything that I make, including the large-scale sculptures you'd see on Broadway, have a, a component of recycled items in them. And um, the eclectic nature of, of these types of pieces that are, that are found uh, items from all over, I, I like to change, take something and, and change it just ever so slightly to give the viewer sort of a question in their mind as to what it is and draw them closer. This piece is uh, an amalgamation of things I found in the street and um, in central Denver. So everything from spoons to the wiring harness of a boat to measuring tapes, um, license plates. There's a direct TV antenna running down the center of it, um, bottle cap tops. Uh, so everything under the sun that you can possibly imagine. and. Um, Everything has sort of a, a, a little uh, side joke where there's secret compartments and things like that for a hide a key. And this rolls. This is a bike cart, actually. So it hooks up to a bike, and then I can go do some guerrilla marketing and show people my work uh, on the street. It's my vaudevillian uh, gypsy vagabond show on wheels. What I try to invoke through my art is a sense of joy or happiness. and. Um, I think uh, we need a little more of it in the world as well as uh, uh, I like people to question what it is, what it's made of. It's an amalgamation of items that are usually placed together in a carnival sort of happy, bright, poppy feel. I do use a plasma cutter which is a cutting of plate steel and then um, bending those, those uh, flowers to, to look um, you know, in a certain way, and then, um, and then a welding process to put them together. So that there's three stages, the cutting, the bending, and then the welding. All the sculpture that I make, I make by myself. I'm sort of a hermit that way. That's from design to fabrication to installation. Every piece that I've ever done on the public realm has been by myself. Some of the bigger flowers down on Broadway, those are about uh, uh, 35 to 40 hours per flower, depending upon how ornate it is. This isn't uh, serious work, it's, uh, it's letting your mind go and going into a place where you kind of hum along and all of a sudden time just slipped by. You know, it's an hour later than I thought. So creative play is very important, I think, to human beings. We lose it as adults. We tell children to put the tools down and wait a minute, you know, we're going to get started. Where we tell adults, please pick the tools up and start, you know. So um, we lose those, that ability of creative play somewhere along the line. And it's very important, I think, as uh, creative people and also as, as just general Joe to get that out, be able to dream.